So I just upgraded my Mac to Sequoia, which means I get native window management features. Now, obviously, Raycast has had window management for a long time, and we've even introduced some new features like custom window commands and window layouts a few months ago. So today, I thought I'd go over some of these new features that come with macOS and compare them with what we offer at Raycast so that you can choose what's best for you. Shall we? All right, so here we are. I have Raycast.com open and I had to do some digging, but to use the window management features, all you have to do is go over to this window panel in the menu bar and the new features should be under move and resize. You can see that you have the halves, half left, half right, the quarters, and also this little menu here, which we do not have in Raycast. So it's kind of cool. There's a little difference here. And return to previous size, which we do have as a command, it's called restore in Raycast. Another way that you can use the native window management is by going to this green menu over here, the maximize button or whatever that's called. And you have these options here, right? So you have the lefts, I, th I don't think you have, yeah, you don't have the quarters. And then you have this fill and arrange section, which I thought was really cool. So what it does is it tries to create like an automatic layout, right? Let's say I have Notion here and Arc with the Raycast website. If I go over to these auto layout options, it'll do it to both of them at the same time. And I think that's really cool, but you kind of have to know you know, the order that things are open in. I found it a bit confusing because if you command tab to it, like I'm recording with OBS right now, but it doesn't have a window, so it's not going to count. Um, I mean, I think it's not going to count. Let's let's try it out. So if I go over here and I choose this one that has three. Yeah, you see, I don't get a window and Notion is apparently the third for some reason, which I don't know why. It's kind of a surprise every time, quite fun. Um, but I think it's really cool that you have this like automatic option. Now, I also wanted to show you, let me go to system settings. And it took me a while to find this, but it's under desktop and dock, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but you have this panel here for windows. And there are three new options, as far as I know, that control these new features. So there's this option to tile by dragging windows to screen edges, which is pretty cool. You can just like hold it here. I think windows has had this for <laughs> a decade and you can drag it here and oh, well, awkward. I had another space. Anyway, you can just drag a window to the side and it'll do left half, which is cool if you're holding a mouse. And but also from the settings, I learned that if you hold the option key, you can also tile windows which is a lot faster. So I enjoy that. And there's also this option that says tiled windows have margins. In Raycast, we call this a gap and it's very configurable. You can have gaps of different sizes. On macOS, obviously you just have one option. You just have a gap or you don't, you can control it. But once you turn it off, you can see that the windows that are tiled kind of adjust automatically, right? Which I think that's pretty cool, right? That's something that they probably have more access than we do because, you know, they have control over all of the windows in the system. But yeah, this is the way to like get rid of the gap or add a gap. Now in Raycast, if you search for window management and from any command, you press command option comma, you get to window management settings and you can configure a gap here. I like to set mine to small. We have a ton of options. All right, so I think the last thing that's left for me to talk about the native features is keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys. Now, I had to Google how to change them because apparently there's like a global way to change any hotkey in macOS, but it's a little clunky in my opinion, which involves going to keyboard shortcuts. I always like to find deep system settings sections directly from Raycast. If you search for it, it's probably there. And what you can do is you go to app shortcuts and then for all applications, you add a new one and you're supposed to type exactly the name of the command under the menu bar to like customize a shortcut, which is really weird and, you know, error prone. But if I go here, window, move and resize, I can see the like left half is called left. So if I type left here and I create a new command, say, hyper left and I press done, you can see that 
now wait it hasn't changed for some reason wait maybe I say done hmm that's weird oh now it changed I had to change apps you can see how it's kind of clunky but I so I managed to change this um, keyboard shortcut not the best user experience but let's see if it works so it's high okay it works now but yeah this is how you change keyboard shortcuts and the thing is the default ones just don't work for me because I have this Keychron keyboard that its function key is actually a key that changes like the layer of the keyboard so you can customize it, which means that it's not really a function key. So I basically don't have this function key in my keyboard, which means I can't use the default shortcuts because I don't have that key. So if I wanted to set, you know, custom keyboard shortcuts for each of these, I would have to, uh, you know, go over this window and in app shortcuts and like check out their names and add all of them. And it's, it's just troubling, really, to be honest, like I, I hate this experience. And in Raycast, it's obviously really easy. You just search for a command, say, you know, left third or first third rather. And if you go command shift comma, you can record a hotkey here. So say hyper one you know, for the first third. Really, really easy. Something else that you only have in Raycast is cycling. So if I just use my shortcut for left half and I use it in this window, I can just do it once, do it twice, do it three times, and it cycles over the sizes, which is really cool. And you don't get with macOS. Now this other feature, the arrange section here, you can get with Raycast with layouts. And I think there's a little philosophy difference here, right? Now, naturally, macOS tries to kind of guess what you want to do, and it's just going to pick whatever apps it thinks that you want to put in a layout. And I think this kind of philosophy works across the system sometimes really well, but sometimes, and I think especially for window management, where you just have a lot of variability, right? Of the apps that you have open at once, you know, people never remember to close their apps and who knows the order in which you open them. So if you wanted to control these native layouts, you have to, you know, open or focus on the apps that you want to use exactly, you know, in order that you want to use them and then activate this arrange feature, which to me is kind of clunky. Now with Raycast and custom window layouts, you have to be a little more intentional, right? You have to create a layout that is based off of an activity that you want to perform with that layout. So let me show you an example. I have a layout here. Let me reset these windows. And I have a layout that I created here that is for whenever we record a What's In My Raycast episode. And for that, I usually have Notion on the left with the script of the episode and the browser on the right open in StreamYard, which is the service that we use to record it. So if I have the apps closed, it doesn't really matter because it's going to open the apps. And not only that, it's also going to open them exactly where I want because I set them to open in a quick link. So I go, what's in my recast recording? And when I press enter, you can see that I have Notion here on the left with the project board. So I can choose any what's in my recast. Let's say the last one we did with Pedro. And on the right, it's already open in StreamYard in the studio link so that I can get to the recording. You know, that took a minute, two minutes to set up. I can even show you the command here. You can see that I specified that I wanted Notion here and this project board quick link and then Arc on the right with the StreamYard quick link and I had to set up a size for them and a name. But once I do that, I have this command that I can use at any time and it's always going to do exactly what I expect of it. Now, another thing that you get in Raycast is custom window management commands. And I have exactly one <laughs> that I use all the time, which is basically, I called it balanced center. For some reason, I have three of those probably for a video. And what it does is it, it kind of tries to fill the window 
in a balanced way for me that kind of works for my monitor and my setup. And it's a little offset to the top because of the position that I have it on my desk. So it just works for me. It's like some little tinkering that I had to do to perfect it, but now I use it all the time. So I just love having that command and having the ability to create more commands. All right, so I think that's it. What do you think of the comparison? I think the native features are pretty cool, right? They're a good, you know, collection to come out of the box. I think they're gonna work for most users. Obviously, if you need a little more control or if you wanna have a little more advanced features, I think Raycast is the option. I'm sticking with Raycast. I'm not gonna use the native features that much. And if I went a little too fast for you when showing some of our features, don't worry, we have a whole video about them that we posted a few months ago. So check it out in the description. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Raycast tips and we'll see you soon.